Hi fruit growers, welcome back to Young's Garden. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'd like to feature um, some of my fruit trees and I would like to update them. I'm gonna do a repotting and relocate my achacha today and um, also show you some of my update on my um, tropical fruit trees. And of course, here I'm starting the um, repotting process and i'm going to show you step by step how i do this and where you can find all these supplies and this is uh, my achacha which i left it in full sun with shade and cloth but it's still not growing so well here is my wampy right next to it and it's been growing really well as you can see the foliage of all the um, leaves it was one foot when i first got it for probably $120 on eBay and I went to pick it up but um, yeah ever since I put it down it's, it grew really nicely for me um, here is my orange crust jackfruit I'm gonna remove this and put it in that very spot that I'm gonna remove the achacha so um, I put it here and I don't see any sun for the whole day and it's very hardy so it's not dying but i still have to remove it to give it a better chance here is my stone fruits that is in dormancy and of course i have plum cherry apricot and nectarine and here you're looking at kai mook this is very rare and exotic fruit which i got from my friend thank you michael you're the best he hooked me up with that for 85 dollars, i think and here's my star gooseberry um it's a wonderful sour fruit which um, grows with a lot of fruit so I had to have that here's my iceberg roses I you can check out my blog on 90 where I put it down and I made a whole video out of it okay now it is time to um, plant or remove relocate my achacha where it can have a better chance a better location so it will have um, a chance to grow bigger and stronger and I'm gonna put it in a pot in between two walls which is between my house and the divide divider wall of my neighbors and I finally pulled this out nice rooted so I'm gonna put this in a pot and bring it back on the side of my house and it has rich benefit of potassium and vitamin c it looks like a um, mangosteen but it's yellow skin and they say it tastes just like it it uh, grows here easier than a mangosteen the black mangosteen so um, they are selling it like crazy everywhere in every nursery you can think of um, here I use one bag or half a bag of uh, manure you can find that at Home Depot and you can find that under my description and all this stuff um, that I'm using fertilizer um, you can check out my blog on 108 where you can find all this I use one scoop of each the salt and the um, GB fertilizer and also the um, exotic um, fertilizer uh, potting soil and we're gonna bring this back to the pot where I'm gonna mix it in the soil because it needs this to grow healthier and I'm just gonna pop it right in mix the soil up And that's all you pretty much need to do mix it up and just add some water and full Sun like I said this plant grows really slow and needs lots of protection I have two trees and the one that's in the ground is very healthy because it has lots of protection I think it's smaller than this but I believe it's healthier and it's shooting out more leaves because it doesn't um, suffer a lot of wind damage like this one so that's why I have to relocate this to find a better location which is in this area where it's between the house and the um, divider of the fence 
from the neighbor and here I'm using the tomato cage so I can stabilize it. There are many different sizes of this. Again, you can find this at Home Depot or um, under my description and uh, that might help of uh, finding everything that you need in my video and this is what I use and after that you just simply stabilize it with rope um, the only thing I have at the moment is white rope you can use a garden green rope if you like it is much safer using this green um, plastic garden but I don't have that at the moment so I use this really tight um, white rope and I guess you can find this anywhere but um, it can be a little bit dangerous for your tree because once it's, it grows out um, it can damage your tree or choke it a little bit so you have to watch it carefully this tree is a slow growing so I don't really have to worry too much about it um, here I'm showing you the update on um, some of the trees that I planted down if you check out my last vlog on 92 I uh, repotted it once I bought it from Home Depot and you can see the growth on it and um, here is the difference of improvement some actually lots of growth I left this in a small pot um, I got this from my father-in-law and a pot I left it in the pot for a year and it actually never grew until I repot it to a bigger pot and here is a fig a yellow long neck and as you can see you see, um, there's already some growth after a few weeks putting it down in a bigger pot and here is my two-in-one cherry tree that I got for 35 or 34 dollar at Home Depot nice growth coming out and here is Serenum cherry that I got for hundred dollar at uh, Magnolia nursery some people say it tastes um, kind of peppery aftertaste or I hear um, maybe cough drop that's a first but this is a black serenum um, and it also have long bigger leaves and here's my second serenum tree that I got at Vungai Latiu for $75 it was such a baby when I first got it it was just a twig and I had to re uh, had to put it down in the ground right away and um, it finally grew on me so I got a few harvests on this um, here is an update on my Grimmel Jabotacaba it um, gave off all the leaves because after a few days of rain for a few weeks um, I thought I was gonna die but as you can see some new growth so I'm really happy about that here is my achacha which is my second one and this is $125 that I got online I thought it was really expensive because it was such a small tree when I first got it um, but um, it does show a lot of improvement and growth because I left it this in the ground and in between two walls which is my house and the neighbor's divider and this is cecropia it used for traditional medicine for cough um, bronchitis all this good stuff and high blood pressure asthma all this good stuff here is star fruit and my husband loved this so I have to get it and here you're looking at Abiyu which is so interesting this is my third tree and it um, didn't die on me and we are in winter still in February um, 7th and I will put this in the ground in spring once it's warmer and here we have groomy fruit which is very interesting um, this is the small version I have the larger version which uh, is found in Vietnam and I got that here I found it at Vungai nursery 
and it's a bigger tree it looks exactly like this um, the leaves is silver in the back and uh, silver spots on the fruits but way bigger fruits and way bigger tree and hopefully I get fruits this year and here is giant uh, soursop and um, the update is I had some fruits or flowers when I put it down after three months or two three months hopefully I will get more flowers this year so I can pollinate it here is a cashew tangerine or mandarin that I got at Mimosa the other time if you check out my last vlog on 109 and 107 you see me um, repotting this and it needs full sun thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this subscribe bye